Welcome back to The Daily Poem here in the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. In keeping with the season, I've been reading Christmas poems to you. And I'll continue that today with a poem by Wendell Berry. Wendell Berry was born in 1934. He is a novelist, poet, environmental activist, cultural critic, and farmer. You probably know him for novels like Jaber Crow and Hannah Coulter, possibly for his nonfiction as well. Today's poem is called Our Christmas Tree, and I'm reading it from the Everyman Collection of Christmas Poems, the anthology that they produced, which we are giving away, and which we will announce this afternoon, December 18th, on our Instagram page. So if you want to find out if you won that, if you want to be entered to win it, you can head over to our Instagram page, find the post where we took a picture of this collection, and tag a friend, maybe many friends, and make sure you're following the page, and we will be choosing a winner. In the meantime, Here is a short little poem that I really like by Wendell Berry, Our Christmas Tree. Our Christmas tree is not electrified, is not covered with little lights calling attention to themselves. We've had enough of little lights calling attention to themselves. Our tree is a cedar cut here, one of the fragrances of our place, hung with painted cones and paper stars folded long ago to praise our tree. Christ come into the world. Like I said, it is a short little poem, but it is a very Wendell Berry poem. And I don't just mean that it's a Wendell Berry poem because of the way he uses language, because of the precision and the sort of naturalness of his syntax, but also because of its preoccupation with time, with time past, with preserving something, and also with preserving the, the local. It's a tree from his own place, a tree from his own home, from his own property. It's a tree that doesn't need little lights to to make it beautiful there's something beautiful about this tree in and of itself and it's hung with simple things with things that are handmade homemade things that in their making of themselves direct attention to to christ in that way the poem sort of mirrors the tree itself right there's this sort of simplicity to the poem Uh, it just says there's a sort of simplicity to the tree but that doesn't make it less beautiful or less meaningful or less uh, delightful or less appropriate to the season, shall we say. One of the words that I really love that Barry uses here is fragrances. It's a fragrance of our place. And we think a lot of the time, I think about the way we bring in Christmas trees and the way they make our homes smell better than it already did. It makes it smell different and there's something, you know, it's the unique smell of the season. But I love that he talks about how it's the fragrance of the place that he's preserving and celebrating. But the first thing I thought of when I first read this poem, I remember was, well, it certainly seems like it would be less festive in the evening, right? That's one of the great things about Christmas trees, that they brighten up a dark room and bring a sense of sort of joy to the season, right? Like you sit in your home and you turn the fireplace on or light a fire, depending on whether you have gas or wood burning fireplace, which I'm sure we all know what Wendell Berry would think of a gas burning fireplace. But you sit in your home, maybe you grab a book or make some popcorn or whatever it is and and that's there's a, there's a festive atmosphere created or you drive around your neighborhood or nearby neighborhoods and you look at christmas lights you peek into people's homes <laughs> uh you know, you know the only time of the year when we're allowed to do that uh without it being weird and, and we peek into people's homes and see how they decorated their trees do they use colorful lights and ornaments or do they keep it sort of elegant and simple with just white lights but in the berry home it sounds like there are or were no lights so in the evening, what's that like? At first I was thinking that sounds like it would be a little dour, a little gloomy. But then I started thinking about how it actually sounds sort of contemplative. Um, it's a nod to the limits of this world. Limits which are both fulfilled and expanded through Christ come into the world. So here it is again, Our Christmas Tree by Wendell Berry. Our Christmas Tree is not electrified is not covered with little lights calling attention to themselves. We've had enough of little lights calling attention to themselves. Our tree is a cedar cut here, one of the fragrances of our place, hung with painted cones and paper stars folded long ago to praise our tree. Christ come into the world. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll be back tomorrow with another one.